guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be reviewing this Arteza gouache um, set it has 24 colors and I'm very excited I got this for Christmas from my mom and I've been wanting to use gouache for so long not gonna lie I have no idea how to use it but the end product of me like demoing it is pretty okay in my opinion anyways this was packaged really nicely obviously I mean I'd hope so because it's pretty popular all the colors on the like labels I think match with the color that comes out of it kinda a lot of the label colors on the outside can be like hard to tell from different colors or maybe I'm just colorblind I filmed this at like 10 p.m. so who knows but to me they seem similar anyways here I'm going to like just swatch all of them so you can see them uh, the first one and the last one they're both whites so they're kind of hard to see but anyways you get the idea and the little box that I'm coloring over right now so the white box means that it's opaque, the half one means that it's semi-transparent, and then the whole colored one means that it's super transparent. And there's only one out of this whole thing, and that's ultramarine blue. But yeah, these colors are super vibrant, and I really like them. <laughs> uh, I haven't used like an opaque, like constantly opaque paint if that makes sense in a really long time so I was kind of like whoa out of the whole experience you know like I didn't know how to feel because I don't know I haven't painted like this in so long it was crazy but I chose to get the Arteza or Arteza um, for Christmas like I asked my mom for it because I heard that it was really good compared to other cheap brands and you know I ain't got the money for expensive stuff so this is a pretty good deal to me um, my favorite colors out of this whole thing would probably be the ultra uh, the ultra marine blue that is a tongue twister for me and um, I really like the sky blue it's super pretty I don't know all these blues are really pretty and I thought it was interesting how like the greens are all like semi-transparent I don't know why so if anybody wants to tell me why in the comments that'd be cool but I just thought it was interesting because that's not how it is for the yellows or like the reds or like all the greens you know you get the idea it's weird to me Next, I decided to try and like mix them to see how they mixed, and I tried to make a skin color, like a brown, and I think it turned out pretty well. But yeah, here goes the demo part, and I'm not really sure what I was doing. I have no idea how to use gouache, to be honest. I know how to use watercolor, and I know it's kind of like it, but not. So it's gonna take some. It's gonna take some practice. But I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the lips, man. The top one, I was like, bruh. And then the last one, I was like, okay. But I've never painted lips like that. So this was a very first for me. And I just got this new paper. I've never used it. Um, I'll write what it is below. But like, I got it in a sketch box. So it's just like... I don't know, I was trying it out. Anyways, yeah, 
I'm really proud of how they turned out, and I hope you like them. Also, uh, you're gonna see a lot more gouache videos from me because I actually really like this. This medium's pretty, pretty dope. It gives me like the vibrancy I want and also makes me feel, I don't know, like more painterly than watercolor if that makes sense. But yeah, that probably didn't make any sense because you paint watercolors. You get what I mean. I just like it, okay? It looks cool. Yeah, but <laughs> I guess I'll see you at the end.
Okay, so here's the final product, and I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, um, I don't know, try and purchase this gouache for yourself, or like and subscribe, you know, you get the drill, you hear from everybody. I'll see you guys next time in whatever video I make, and yeah, have a good day. Bye.